What's up everyone, Kawhi Crew here, welcome to my playthrough of Grisaiah Chronos Rebellion. This is part 13 of my Grisaiah Chronos Rebellion playthrough series. If you haven't seen the other 12 parts, you can click the playlist in the description down below. But yeah, we'll pick up our left off back in part 12, so without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so last playthrough where we left off, uh, Class D got, just got done cleaning up. They got done with their first cleaning job, and yeah, let's see where it goes from there. Roger, ma'am, I have one thing I'd like to ask to you. Well, she was able to converse somewhat normally with Class D at lunch, but she's acting a bit strange. It's not that. When we talk when we talked about amusement parks, she became very apprehensive. You know anything about it? Hmm. Makes sense. That's true. Online, I don't intend to force her to talk about things she's not comfortable with. <laughs> yep, that's the, uh... That's how Arta, one of the ways Arta earns his harem protagonist status. It's gotta be nice to ladies. I leave the principal's office and spot Anna walking down the hallway. She's walking aimlessly, almost loitering. She knows the facility well enough to avoid getting lost. Anna heads to the room where the cleanup crew keeps its equipment. It's fitted with an electric lock that requires a tablet to enter, so if the students want to, they can get a moment of solitude inside. The room smells like a mix of a butcher and a hospital. The gray concrete walls are cold to the touch. It's not very pleasant. In between the clean mops and number of other tools, Anna sits down on the cold floor and hugs her knees. The cold, uncomfortable nature of her surroundings doesn't seem to bother her. Surely there's other places in Mihama that offer comfort and solitude to students. It's been a while since she ever thought about amusement parks. The first and last time Anna visited one was five years ago just before she was taken into the custody of the state. It had been her dream to visit an amusement park with her entire family. Now one day it finally came true. Oh, wait a minute. I have a feeling. You know, I'm just gonna say it right now. Is this the this is this the same park that got bombed and where Chris lost her mother? It may be. I mean, I don't remember exactly what that park looked like, but it kind of looks like it. She had been looking forward to this day for so long. And now her here she finally was. Even sitting on the bench filled her with whimsy and excitement. The clouds overhead swirled and the children all laughed and frolicked while they held onto their balloons. Just being at the amusement park was enough to make Anna giggle with joy. While she swayed to and fro on the bench, the sunlight glowed around her. She was the happiest she could ever be. Eventually, the sun started to set and the chill was in the air. Suddenly, it was closing time and the sunlight was gone. Really 
What happened to this Anna? One of the employees approached, probably to tell the girl that it was closing time. Pointed a suitcase at her feet and it gave it a little kick. What? She kicked the suitcase again and it opened slightly. A black liquid seeped out from the opening. The employee, the employee let out a primal shriek upon seeing her family. What the fuck? He called the police and she was taken into custody. A girl at the amusement park with her family's decapitated heads in a suitcase? The story didn't circulate on the news or newspapers. If it had, it would have thrown society into disarray. What? 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 Whoa, whoa! Before she realized that she was dragged from the amusement park full of color to a white room. Her memory after that is hazy. She didn't know what would happen to her. She was even told that there was nowhere for her to go. She even heard one of them suggest that they dispose of her. After transforming through many institutions, the girl ended up at the field school gates of Mihama. <gasps> I wake up from my mind's driftings. I wasn't tired, but I wanted to escape for a brief moment from the current world. I was supposed to be alone in Tulkasa, but in front of me... What's wrong, Anna? Are you crying? I noticed the tears that are pouring from my eyes. When I first met this man, I didn't realize my fingers were shaking, just like now. It feels like he understands me more than I understand myself. Why is he so perceptive? <laughs> I must never let him, nor anybody else, know what I'm feeling deep down. It's not necessary to share every single thing you feel with others. I don't even understand my own feelings. I just have to do what I'm told. Just like then. Don't think about anything. Just do my work. Ah, uh, Tawa, this very unamused facial expression. The words come out of my mouth before I think. Why would I need cleaning liquid right now? Cleaning liquid? What cleaning liquid? <laughs> Idiot. This is some stupid lie. Once I start talking, I spill my guts. This? He takes a plastic container from a shelf and hands it to me. Can reach it? You should have just asked. I don't know if he could tell that I'm lying, but he hands me the plastic container filled with cleaning solution regardless. I snatch a container from him and thank him. What did you say? I tried to thank him, but for some reason the words don't come out. You were wandering around like a lost kid. I was worried about you. I've had the habit of talking without thinking since forever. I say the opposite of what I feel. I wonder if he's really worried about me. I'm not sure. Am I making him worry about me? I'm not sure. No matter how hard I think of an answer, I never find one. So I stop thinking. I stop thinking for as long as I can remember.
The only thing I know is that I know nothing at all. Wow. That... That either sounds... That either is pretty deep or just sounds pretty deep and it doesn't really mean anything at all. Man, the only thing I know is that I know nothing at all. Damn. I wonder if that applies to me. The plastic container I'm carrying is too heavy for me to run with. I'm sure he's watching my back as I struggle to walk with it. If I look, if I look behind me, I'm sure he'd look into my eyes with concern. I don't want to be embarrassed. So I decide to walk down the long hallway without looking back even one time. Then I aimlessly wander around the school for a while with a plastic container I don't need, like a child lost at an amusement park. Oh, don't that sound familiar? I still have... I still have... Anna's backstory in my mind. Like, what the hell? So she was going around an amusement park with the decapitated heads of her family? What is that about? I'm guessing... Well, since her backstory is already incredibly dark, I might as well come up with an incredibly dark theory. I'm guessing that... Her family was murdered, brutally murdered, perhaps maybe even right in front of her, and because of that she was so traumatized that she couldn't accept what happened to her family, and as a result she's carrying them around this suitcase as if they're still alive and still actually with her, because, you know, she just couldn't deal with her, she just couldn't deal with her de their deaths. But man, by the way, that was real. I mean, we only saw, I feel like we only still only small, saw a small glimpse of her past, but still though, it is incredibly dark, isn't it? It is incredibly dark. Small glimpse. Hi. That applies to almost any social media app. ヒップホップ。ダイバーシティ。ブレイクダンスやラップが発展していったじゃない。おい、さ、特面もあるかもしれないが、今は関係のない形。うん、あるの。そしてヒップホップは、ニュース番組を取り上げない、ストリートの問
Okay, boomer. <laughs> Wait, how are you gonna put wholesome? Kids were always more wholesome and then fights in the same sentence. How are you gonna put wholesome and fights in the same sentence? That doesn't that doesn't really correlate with me. Girl, there is regular bullying now. Just that most of it happens on the internet. Or a lot of it happens on the internet. I mean, adults kind of can supervise their kids when it comes to internet use. They got, you know, you just gotta watch what your kids are consuming on the, on the internet. Or better yet, don't give them a fucking smartphone at the age of five. Like some parents are doing. In fact, a lot of parents are doing these days. Like hell, when I was a kid, like I didn't give, I didn't get my first cell phone until I was thirteen. Even then, it wasn't a smartphone. It was like a, like an old push button phone. That was mostly used for making calls and nothing else. Oh, please. It brings people, it may bring people some, it may bring some peace of mind. It may, it may bring some people hope. But it could also bring trolls and bullying and harassment and flame wars. Also, I do ag agree, I mean, I do kind of agree with this sentence, though. In fact, like, I feel like it's kind of a game with, it, with every generation. Like, the older generation, you know, blames the younger generation for modern problems. You know, that you, you don't see that just today, but yeah, I'm sure that happened, like, a lot of times in the past as well. That's bullshit. Oh, damn, this girl knows her stuff. God damn. Move over, Ben Shapiro. She's the one that Sugar is the one destroying people with facts and logic. <laughs> Preach! <laughs> Preach! Yeah, what do you have to say to that, Aoki? <laughs> Oh my god, now he's resorting to shouting. Now he's resorting to shouting in anger and screaming. That's how you know he, they that's how you know he lost the argument. That's what ev that's what trolls on the that's what people on the internet. That's how they act when they lose the argument. He's emulating exactly what people on social media do sometimes. Damn, that's bullshit. I don't know, Ioki. I don't, I'm not sorry. I don't know, Sugar. I'm gonna have to call Cap on that. When did when did we start talking about books all of a sudden? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, that Dr. Aoki got destroyed.
He may be called Doctor, but he was the one on the operating table, courtesy of Sugar. Wait, I just realized something. Like, I, I'm pretty sure... I just realized something. Doctor... Doctor... Aoki versus Sugar. Doctors are opposed to Sugar. I feel like there has there has to be a pun in that encounter. I see what you did. I see what you did there, front wing. L stops the video she was watching on her tablet. She raises her head in a tired daze. You've been watching that for a while. Is it interesting? What? The sugar girl again? Their marketing must be costing them a fortune. She must be framing herself as a representative of the youth. So she can act as a sort of leader for them. No, I don't think so. No, she probably just wants money. And, a, and adults swarm at things that make money. She may portray her position as being against adults, but she probably receives funding from many different corporations. Yes. Yes, L. The real world is very complicated. The real world is never black and white. It's never just good and evil. Don't watch those videos all the time. Arata, you should... This, this... This girl is the last person you should be... You know... Discussing this with. Don't get any closer to me with your tail wagon like that. It gives me the creeps. Is being a mad scientist not enough for you? Now you're a stalker too? You just, you just so have it to monitor every fucking day. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that's to some degree stalking. So you're more of a peeping Tom. Girl, that sounds exactly like stalking. Why were you following Anna, Anna around the school? Uh, of course. Of uh, fucking course. Ancient wall painting. Don't speak any further. I know what you want to say. NASA will not stop until every fucking female and possibly every male on the planet has pets installed to them. 
She's a civilian. There's no reason to make her go that far. Re really? But she goes on missions and stuff, right? ロッテンマンダリーセオリーという理論なのですが。うん。How silly of me. How silly of me to assume that she would be quoting some famous scientist who did some legitimate, real-world scientific study. Of course, so you intend to install technology inside Enna that's still in its testing phase. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she, uh, she sounds oddly convincing. You just want more test subjects for your pets, don't you? それは否定しませんが、実際の話ですね。あの子は物事を考えすぎると思考停止をして動けなくなると聞きました。それが現場で起こったら命取りというか、実際に起こって被害が出たわけですからね。Maybe a mad scientist, but her persuasion techniques aren't that bad. Wait, wait, it's not that simple. いや、これは、そんな単純な話なんですよ。さてね、繋げちゃえばいいだけなんですよ。それで不具合が解消されるんですよ。え、そんなシンプルでイージーなことなくないですかむしろやらない理由とは。If Anna's past is the cause of her current problems, then she should find a way to overcome her issues herself. Otherwise, it would be meaningless. Anna needs to solve her own problems. と、マジで言ってます自分で乗り越える必要。で、なくないですかだってですよ。根性だ、鍛錬だ、精神だっておっしゃいますけど、技術でそれが量ができるんであれば、わざわざ辛い思いをして乗り越える意味って、ありますよ
えなちゃん本人がモルモットになってもいいよって気持ちになったら教えてくださいね喜んで送ってあげますから何しろ日々経験積んでますから以前のオペよりも時間短縮痛みも軽減ですやるなら今がチャンス Man, you'd think operating on the entirety of Class S would be enough for this mad scientist, but no. No, it only fueled her fire. Only if she actually wants it. I'm just doing my job as a as handler. I have no other feelings on the matter. Yep, getting too attached to the characters in this in these visual novels is both a blessing and a curse. It's a curse because, well, when you go around to do an alternate playthrough like I did and choose the bad ending and go through the bad ending and you have to see all those girls that you grew attached to over the course of eight visual novels die brutally in front of you, then yeah, it's hard. It's uh, it, it's very hard. And not just the girls, Haruto, Haruto too. Yeah, that alternate playthrough I did with Phantom Trigger Volume 8 was brutal. Anyways, Ganessa is correct. Anna is an irregularity to Class D. But since she is a civilian, I can't let her get the surgery. Experience isn't something that can be simply put inside someone's brain. It may also produce unexpected flaws. Oh, Anna, I was just talking about you with Ganessa. Untrue. Only one of them is up to no good. Don't talk like we're the bad guys in some fairy tale. Say, Anna, if there was a surgery that could help you overcome your weaknesses, would you get it? Jari knows. Yeah, you know about it? Why is that? Are you hiding something? I don't have anything that would be troubling if people knew about it. I'm sure some boys have those kinds of secrets as well. I never expected for Anna to pull the girl card, but she is very much correct there. What? <laughs> what did you get here? Unfortunately, she dislikes the idea of you peering into her heart. That quack never learns. Ganessa once again. There has recently been some interference in the pets when I try to sync with my students. Something feels off. Noise is the closest thing I can call it. Contact the Ganessa to undergo a pets analysis. Girl, this is serious. 
This sounds serious. I mean, I mean, it sounds like a serious issue is what I meant. Oh, wait. Oh, they're actually doing it. Okay. Ella and I strip down, then we get in two beds that are next to each other. Oh, okay, that's that's what they meant. Okay. No, no, I wasn't... I'm, that's exactly what I was thinking of. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, you know, they, they would get naked and, you know, for examination, get in the bed together. You know, it's perfectly normal. The pet's part implanted into us? Well, for one thing, that just sounds morbid as fuck. Anyway, it's kind of strange that you need us to get naked to perform your pet's analysis. Are you fucking kidding me? Then why make us strip down? <gasps> Girl, you're speaking a bunch of bullshit right now. Just admit you want to see Harata's cock. Harata. <laughs> Did I say Harata? Just admit you want to see Harata's cock. I don't, don't no, 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 not this ambience bullshit, like, come on. Are you serious? This nest has clearly been cooped up in the lab too long. Like, if she's this desperate to see naked bodies. I'll remember this. Ganessa quickly leaves the lab. Ella and I lie naked on the beds. It seems like being naked isn't essential to the process. On a coat or something? Wait! Is... Wait, this is her naked? I'm... I'm so confused. I can feel her heart wavering, waver through the pets. Sure. What is it? L, it's not as bad as you make it sound, I assure you. Another girl. You mean Anna? Yes. Who says that? Is there anyone who really thinks like that? Also, that saying is really old. Where did you even learn it? So you're telling me the same girl that doesn't know about amusement parks is the same girl that knows about old Japanese proverbs? Okay. What are you trying to say? Oh, damn. Are you cranky? She's been talking fervently so far, but her tone suddenly drops. I didn't have, well, I didn't have L accusing Arta of infidelity on my bingo for today, but here we are. Go ahead, tell me. 
なのではないかと。Oh boy! Through pets, I can feel a prodding, angry feeling coming through. 先日テレビを見ていたら、長年連れ添った相手に不倫されるというシーンが出てきました。その時に、女性が嫉妬に狂うという状況になっていたのですが。Oh dear. Alright, then I think it's about time you monitor、uh, L's TV access. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. そうしたら、私。I would never. 何度も言いますが、マスターには何人もつながっている相手がいるかもしれませんが、私はマスターだけなんです。だから、どうしたらいいかわからなくなってしまいます。You're being unusually timid. だって私は、マスターとペッツでつながった初めての人でもないですし。Man, that was kind of cute when she's jealous, isn't she? Oh, I'm not sure if 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 I'm not sure With pets, you have the highest synchronization rate. You realize that? Hi. That means you come first, so you shouldn't worry. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. So I guess this is Arata's way of saying,、uh, No, I am not thinking about other girls.、Uh, you are my first priority. While I guess still. Rem Maintaining the relationships still somewhat professional. Because、oh, you know, getting romantically involved with these girls is both a blessing and a curse. I mean, there's good sides and bad sides, but mostly bad sides. L puts her clothes back on, bows her head, and leaves the lab. She even forgets, she even forgot her shoes in her confusion. Vanessa holds them up to me. A smirk on her face all the while. <laughs> Front way, you cheeky fucks. You know exactly what you t- <sighs> A little bit of a meta reference there. Although I wouldn't consider Gazaya a, a cheesy romance novel. I guess you are monitoring our conversation and our nervous systems, I'm sure. Bingo. It's not a good thing. If you have a bad thing, you can't get it. 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 You c a n So you thought that the hardware, being us, must be the culprit. So you thought that the hardware, being us, must be the culprit. こちらのモニタリング結果をご覧くださいやはりですね<笑> So L's jealousy is what's creating the, the noise? What's creating, what's causing the pets to malfunction? Hmm, interesting I don't know if she's excited or what but she's swishing her tail and ears all around way more than necessary It creeps me out Says you, Arata. That sounds cute as hell. Nessa buries her face in her tablet and her eyes dart around quickly. What a pain. I am not having an affair. We're not even married. 
Why don't you stop being so vague? To put it simply, Elle felt what I was feeling when Anna was hugging me. ま、I suppose so. Can you get to the point? What should I do? Date? Make out session? Third base? You don't have to act so smart. Spit it out. Huh? What's this? It's not that simple, is it? Yeah, like ASMR? Whisper? Whisper what exactly? Ah! <laughs> Like, oh my god. Now, Nessa just being very blunt. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Do, do you really think I believe that? Na Nessa is right, Arata. Come on! Make her feel loved! Get her heart beating! Elle doesn't think of me like that. Do I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Arata has to be the densest. Desire protagonist that we had so far. Oh my god. Well. I suppose. I suppose they had to make him. They had to do some. Some things to make him stand out from Yuji and Arata. Harto. Um. He can't be like a snarky dude that just knows everything. I like, I like those two, but still, it's like, oh my god, bro. This dude is getting a little bit too dense for my comfort. Coming in, L. You forgot your shoes. I also need to talk to you. Oh boy, let's see how this goes. I don't think I'll be able to do this with L sharing my feelings, so I just connect the pets channel between us. No, it's not that. It's, it's just... L peers into my eyes with curiosity. Her gaze tells me how much she believes in me, and I can't help but feel guilty. If Pets was on right now, she'd probably realize my ulterior motives. 
I'm going to take Anessa's advice that I need to get closer to whisper into her ear. If only there was some excuse I can use to get closer. No, um, right. Did you change your shampoo? <laughs> this is the best excuse you can come up with. I mean, the girl will just obey everything you say, Arata. The girl will do anything you say. Just say, L, I want you to hug me or something. It should be simple as that, right? Right, of course, but you smell different. I might be acting rash, but I used that flimsy pretense to move closer to her face. She tries to get away, but I grab her arm and pull her close. I place my mouth directly next to Elle's ear. I talk in a voice that's deeper than normal and sigh into her ear. Oh god, what's he gonna say? Like I said before, you come first. You don't need to worry. My lips are practically touching her ear, and I can feel her shudder. She closes her eyes as she's trying to hold something in. Oh man, that, that's the first. I, okay, I'm gonna need a look. I'm gonna need to go back and hear what that sounds like. Cause that's probably the first time I've ever whispered that close into the mic. <laughs> how, how, how does that sound to you guys? Master, Really? Think so? Forget about that. There's something I need to tell you. Well, I'd like to do something for you today as a way of thank you for all you've done. As I whisper into her ear, Elle shrinks into a cold breeze. L shrinks like a cold breeze just blew in. I get closer to her, nearly hugging her. Wait, was I, was I supposed to whisper her those lines too? I don't know, but should I whisper these lines? Hold on. As I whisper into her, okay. I think I'm supposed to whisper these lines. Well, I think there is. Is there anything you want? As long as it's in within reason. What is it? Massage? Her request is so unexpected, I can't help but back away from her a little. Elle hides her blushing face in her hands. Aww. She wants a massage. She must be tired from working so hard. I guess if you're getting that beat up from training, I better make some changes. Then efficient to train while you're in a state of fatigue. An, honest, an oddly innocent request. Is that okay? If you need a break, just let me know. Elle looks at me with hopeful eyes, like a girl her age when she's hiding something deep down. I think this is going just as Ganessa predicted. Alright, then I'll give you a massage. I'm sure that you have plenty of muscle knots from using a gun every day. Elle wears a nervous expression, and her body is very stiff. I can't massage you if you're tense up your shoulders like that. They're holding hands? I'm massaging her hand. Not holding it. But I decide not to point that out. I take Elle's hand and feel her finger, pressing into it so she can relax. Then I press into the gaps between her fingers with my own. Hands and feet are closely tied to our reflexes. Stimulating them can relieve tension in all parts of the body. They are vital parts of any soldier's body. I check their stiffness by pressing into them and letting go. 
Elle's eyes are closed, and a soft whimper escapes from her lips. <laughs> All according to Keikaku. Strong, does it hurt? Oh. Glad. If it hurts, let me know and I'll stop. Oh yeah, do we have any oil? No, oil to use on skin. Oh, he's busting out the oil! L hands me some baby oil. You don't really need it for gripping, but it helps to have a lubricant for love for rubbing. I hold L's hand and softly caress it. L shrugs her shoulders, since she's not used to being touched this way. Sit. Oh my god, I've been thinking, what if the others hear, hear this? I mean, Elle's not really being too loud right now, but still, what if Serica or Flan or Enna somehow hear this? Any minutes or so? As she twists and turns, she lets out a moan of delight. Is her skin sensitive? She shouldn't be feeling that good from this. She looks at me with pleading eyes, and I stop immediately. Ella gives a satisfied sigh. You would what? Now get on the bed and face down, I'll do your back. Oh. oh man, Arta wants to feel you all over. Why? I was just getting started. <laughs> yeah, boy. That just means your blood is flowing now. There's nothing to worry about. She's not used to getting touched this much by the man she loves. That's all you want. If that's all you want, then so be it. What? Alright, we'll continue next time. Oh no! Well, I suppose I really be. Sh I suppose I really shouldn't be surprised that this is happening. I suppose I really shouldn't be surprised that it happened. Arta can't, Arta can't do shit to the girls in, in these dorms without someone else noticing. Why are you acting so suspicious? Man, they need to start soundproofing the walls on these dorms. I was just giving a massage. Remember, guys, back in the original Grisaya series, Yuji was banging the girls in these exact same dorms. Dorms just like these. Now, if Flan was able to hear such soft moans coming from these doors, imagine... Imagine what it sounds like. Imagine how easily you can hear a girl like Amane or Yumiko getting meat slammed into their rears. <laughs> but I'm telling the truth. 
The door opens and Elle sticks her head out. Her face is sweaty and flustered red. Oh my god, Elle is not helping the situation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you couldn't have said... You couldn't have picked the worst time to say this. The door is shut with a thud. Flan bites her lip and glares daggers at me. You know what? Then I won't bother. To show you that I haven't done anything weird, I'll just do the same thing to you. Make some time later, okay? Yes, I'll, I'll let you experience for yourself what we did. <laughs> oh my god. Are you against it? At the flame finally leaves, I feel someone staring at my back. Oh my god. This is no end. It's just one after the other. Right, now, Priest and Arthur is going to have to explain himself to the entire, the entirety of Class D. Perhaps the entire school. When I turn around, Anna glares at me with questioning eyes. You want to be touched too? メールだ、それでは。Yes. Yes, go Anna. We don't need any more misunderstandings. Asking her who she's getting a text from makes me feel like her dad. These girls are sure are a handful to manage. I head to the bathroom to wash the oil off my hands. Wait, hold on! No, no, no! Wait, wait, wait! Hold on! Do we get the? Did you? Do we get to see the rest of that massage? Did you just leave L hanging? What's wrong, with Anna? Something going on? Miss <laughs> Nogami walks by with a stern face. She holds a phone in her hand. Miss <laughs> Nogami, is something wrong? Oof. I believe Hirose is uh, one of her teammates from the cleaning crew, right? Hirose? Cleanup crew leader? Soda. I get the gist. I'll follow her. Anna, wait! I'm not going to stop you. Are you going to run all the way to the hospital? May as well go by car, right? Up in. I pull up in the cleanup crew's van and take Anna to the hospital. She's clearly distressed and stares out the window the whole ride over. She's biting her nails without thinking, a tick I have never seen from her before. You're shaking. Yeah, she's reacting like this, and yeah, she, it's obvious that they've shared a she shared a deep connection with the, uh, with the leader. And not just the leader, everyone in the, in the cleanup crew. 
Anna chooses her words carefully, like building a house of cards. She sorts everything out in her head. Mm. Survivor's guilt is a bitch. Our job is dangerous. Everyone knows the risk. No one begrudges you for surviving. Have you known Harase for a long time? Her house of cards is close to falling apart. She breathes in deeply, clearly pained. Talk about whatever you want. It'll make you feel better, I'm sure. If you don't speak up, you're more prone to negative thoughts. It's better to talk to someone. Process of elimination? Chris was her instructor, huh? Kujirase wouldn't dismiss your abilities without proof. Did she tell you why? You probably were selected because you could act fast on the aptitude test, but in practice, you didn't care if you died? Mm. Yeah, that's definitely not the right mindset you should have when it comes to defusing bombs. You're not supposed to be so reckless. Yeah, and if you don't defuse a bomb properly, you're gonna cause a lot of other people trouble, not just your... Like, it... Yeah, if you don't defuse a bomb properly, it's not your life that's going to end, it's a lot of other people. So in other words, you're still going to be causing people trouble. That's what I was trying to say. You're not the only one who failed that test. Plenty of people made similar mistakes. That's why there are sprinklers after all. Yeah, knowing how knowing how nice Chris is, I mean 
I'm pretty sure she didn't say this out of malice or anything. Like, she... I mean, hell, even I think that she she's not fit for bomb the bomb defusal. I mean, Chris definitely didn't say this out of malice. I mean, she's just saying this because, you know, she knows what's best for Anna. She knows that, you know, there are some, certain things that she's good at, certain things that she's bad at. This is one of those things that she's bad at. Is that why you joined the cleanup crew? ちょっと呼ばれていますが、清掃班に入る学生は訓練時に怪我を負ったり、精神的な問題で戦闘に参加できなかったり、言ってしまえば。Mihama is a school for kids with nowhere else to go. However, even within Mihama, many kids struggle to find somewhere they're somewhere they fit in. Those students don't find work in the field or in the school. Instead, they work outside in the civilized world, blending in and gathering intel. There are many layers of confidentiality within Mihama. In most extreme cases, students who are unsuccessful in information gathering are disposed of. What Hirose did isn't strictly part of his duties, but I understand his reasons. He wants to give the girls a place to belong, even if it only extends their lives a little longer. He wants to give a purpose to those struggling pupils. Aw, what a wholesome guy! What a nice dude! No wonder someone as selfless as him would sacrifice their his safety to save Enna from that grenade blast. Man, what a great guy. I want to know more about him. No wonder Enna was so attached to him. Enna has calmed down, but her breathing is still ragged. I try to talk as casually as possible. Have you ever heard the name Death Sign? That's what they call me. On every team I'm on for a mission, I'm the only survivor. They treat me like the Grim Reaper. Really, it's just that I'm the only one who knows how to survive. Everyone else just started spreading rumors about me. Enna, what happened back then wasn't your fault. It's normal for there to be injuries during missions. You just happen to get lucky. I shouldn't really say this, but it could have just as easily been you on that hospital bed not waking up. So don't feel guilty. You can mope and feel bad about it. You can focus on your duties. That's good. Girl, that wasn't his fault. That was your fault. Yes. Oh yeah, I have the same chocolate on me. You want some? I have oh, I have some chocolate on me. My bad. Anna takes the chocolate and stuffs it into her pocket. We soon arrive at the hospital. Man, fuck you. Sorry, what room is Hirose's? Uh. 
<笑>シュアリ。あれ。シュナンじゃないの。チビ。死ぬ。その逆だ。しばらく意識が戻らなかったんだが、今日また目が覚めてな。今まさに奇跡の復活ってやつを遂げてる最中だよ。なんだ。
something. Well, we do enough. We even see some action. He shows me his hand, completely covered in bandages. And I feel responsible, but she's recovering from the trauma. Really? That's surprising. Wow. Really? I let them do some experimenting on me. Really? Right after you were hospitalized? Nessa, have you no shame? Ganessa. そう、試験運用中の技術の試験体にならないかという誘いだったみたいだが、散々体をいじくり回した後で、脊髄の損傷が激しすぎてペッツを運用することは不可能だと告げられてね。その後も何やらデータ収集して帰っていったよ。なん
buries her face in my chest. She isn't crying, but she feels awfully cold to the touch. Okay, no need to hold back. I'll spoil you rotten. And a sniffles. Man, she really is short compared to Arata. Like, if they're, like, standing right now... I thought made Arata is just really tall. I hope so. I'm not a doctor, so I can't say. Well, I mean, even Hirose called her, her chibi, so she's probably, she's probably short. Of course not. I know that much. Just imagine if you were in his position and you'll know the answer. Anna thinks to herself. Takes a bite of the chocolate bar. We stay in Hirose's room for a bit longer. But once it's clear he's not going to wake up for a while, we finally leave for Mihama. All the way back, Anna's busy typing up a text message in the passenger seat. I wonder when Hirose will be able to read it. I've known, only known Hirose for a little while, but man, I want this man to pull through. I want him to live the happiest life he's ever lived. Because man, he sounds like an absolute Chad. I like him already. But yeah, I think this is a good place to stop. But yeah, overall, um, I wouldn't say much happened in this playthrough as well, but we but we still got quite a bit. Namely, Enna's Pass, a peak at least to Enna's Past. Which was, like I said, unexpectedly very dark. And that's putting it mildly. Uh, of course we got introduced to Hirose. And, oh my god, that massage scene with L. I'm a bit disappointed that it didn't go further. Um, but you know what? I mean... We still got something at least. For the all... The L and Arata shippers. Which I am probably... Which I probably am one of them. Uh, we got something at least. Uh, what else? Oh yeah. The introduction of Hirose. And, of course, tie it all off with that CG between uh, Arata and Enna, so yeah, which was, which was really sweet. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching, have a great day, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys next time.